A Thanksgiving full of betrayal, pointed remarks, and high-class pretension. Where else? Only on New York's Upper East Side, and Gossip Girl gives us the word. Gossip Girl was in the spirit of giving. We got to see two Thanksgiving celebrations for the price of one. So much can change in a year. Apparently last Thanksgiving, the Waldorfs were still together. Nate was very into Blair. Serena's drinking was out of control, and she had no idea who Dan was. Hi. Uh, I don't know, we met last year. Uh, you, met, you might not remember. This year, Blair uninvites Serena to the Waldorf's Thanksgiving celebration after a small confrontation regarding Chuck. Tell me you didn't sleep with Chuck for revenge. Nothing hurts more than sleeping with a best friend, right, S? Way to prove a point. Well, I learned from the master. We're not doing Thanksgiving here anymore. Oh. Why? Because I uninvited them. Luckily for Serena, Dan comes to the rescue. However, the tension created at the Humphreys could be cut with a knife. I am sorry. I did not know that you were... Back? Well, I am. And why would you know? Well, Dan never mentioned it when he invited me. And it only escalates to some shocking revelations between Lily, Rufus, and Allison. She was your dad's first great love. Look, for better or for worse, you're one of my oldest friends. Mm. Oldest friends? That's certainly not how it felt when you kissed me at Eleanor's party. What? In the meantime, Blair finds out that her dad's not coming, so she's overwhelmed by an old impulse. And poor Nate has to spend Thanksgiving at the hospital when the captain tries to throw himself overboard. I know it wasn't an accident. Of course it was. When I found you, I thought you were dead. I'm sorry. I just didn't... I couldn't. Yes, you can. All ends well after a few heart-to-hearts between the members of our favorite upper-class family. Be sure to watch tonight's episode titled High Society tonight at 9 o'clock, 8 o'clock central on The CW. I'm Jason C. Out.